Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now here we are back up at the orchard, still going through the concept of putting our wall ends in. Now I know that ventilation is probably the most important thing when it comes to hoop houses. So what I've done is I've come up with a concept that I think is going to be working here and what I have seen is that not every concept suits every hoop house. Now, you really have to work to the environment that you have with your wind directions and things like that. Now, I think that that's really the key, is trying to maximize your ventilation naturally without then going into mechanical power. So, I tell you what, I've done a little concept down the other end. I want you to follow me and I'll show you what I've done. So I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. Check it out. Now, like I was saying before, this is a concept that we're working with. And, and I was thinking it really had to be situated to every site on how you would actually design your end walls. Now, just as a quick orientation, we're running um, east-west so that we can maximize the sun potential as it swings around to the north north that way so we're running like that it's exactly the same sort of concept that we had for our chicken coop the way that we wanted to maximize the shade for the chickens in the middle of the day we've got our central corridor running uh, north south work to treat same sort of principles here so what happens is that in this particular site we're a little bit elevated and we've got a natural uh, lake further down a little bit and I can even feel now we've got a northerly breeze and it's still quite cool. It, it, it's not cool, but I can feel that breeze. Now I needed to make sure that I maximize that potential of breeze coming through. So what we've done is our first scenario and remembering that I'm going to be looking at those automated window openers and I think I'm going to go down the line of those beeswax ones where that as the as it warms up they start melting and the spring tension kicks over to open up and as it cools down the beeswax hardens up and starts retracting. So I think that that's where I'm going to go. So this would be our first ventilation port. So what I've done here is that this will then open up like so to maximize the northerly breeze coming onto this face and shoot in like so, almost like a sail. I will then do it at the other end the opposite way. I'll open it, open it to the south. So it has to go through the hoop house and then back out. So that's the first one. And then for the, the secondary sort of opener, I thought about still having heat caught up the top here. So, what I wanted to do then was that this one will open like so. Again, we'll have the opposite window down at that end doing exactly the same. That's the high point. This will be the low point as, the, as in this corner here. And then that will just open up like so. So I'm thinking that the, um, the way that it's going to work for us could, could be okay. Now I'm also gonna have to put in um, some ventilation fans in there and I'm still working through that concept at the moment but I think that as the the breeze will run through the hothouse or the, the high tunnel I think we're pretty much on the on the money here now when we go to work in here what I've done we've got our single door that opens up like so and for those times where I want to run the chickens in there I'm able to close this off, let them clean up at the end of the season, and I'll end up with some sort of fly screen mesh here, but that gives them a lot of ventilation. But also when we're working, we can keep everything open and get a lot of breeze coming through this high tunnel. So this is the concept where we are at the moment. I tell you what, it will change over time. It has to, it has to evolve. I mean, this is going to be a live sort of project as we go through. So I'm hoping that 
it all sort of comes together and you can see what we've done. I've got to build the other end now, now that I'm happy to see what we've actually achieved here. Then I'm going to put the perspex on and start sealing her up. And we're all sorted, mate. How good's that? So, all about high tunnel ends and the concepts of working to your environment, like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.